Hello, welcome back. Yesterday, Dynamax announced huge new contract wins. The new contract wins has more than doubled its netbook order. For FY 2023 closing, its netbook order was 420 million. For context, its 2023 annual revenue was 385 million. The netbook order to annual revenue is very high. The expansion plans announced will help them to execute and fulfill the order. The future for Dynamic looks bright. As usual, the disclaimer, here is the graphical representation. The net order book has a huge jump and is very high to its annual revenue. This is very bullish. Here I tracked the shares and warren price since the warren listing in late January this year. Share price is up 68%, warren is up 178%. However, the warren discount to share price is widening and now about 10% discount. The market seems to hesitate that the share price will not hold well and not go up, hence the warrant discount. With the contract win, Maybank has raised its target price to $0.46. Cents. It has previously raised the target price from $0.38 cents to $0.42 cents after the 2023 results. Notice it left the FY24 estimate unchanged but raised the FY25 and 26 numbers. It also raised the PE. The target price of $0.46 cents will give a 16% upside. This means the warrant price is $0.31, cents, a good 41% upside. If we assume a 5% discount, it is still a good 34% upside. A few possible catalysts can influence the shares and warrant during the remaining days of the warrant listing. That's the AGM on 25th April. Investor can ask the board to understand the business and its potential better. This is also the first face-to-face -face AGM with the CEO since its hiring. There's no Q1 updates. August will be their half year results, which hopefully will give more catalysts for the share price to go up. In between, there will be more possible contract wins. The macro environment must stay favorable. It broke the long term resistance at 31 cents and the recent local top. The market is beginning to appreciate Dynamax as a quality stock. Dynamax share price should hold well given the contract wins and analyst upgrades. Oil and gas stocks are rising with more market volume, so its warrants should hold well too. Okay, that's my quick update. Hope you find it useful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.